Hey everyone, my name is Gilberto. We're back again with another battle spot session. You can, uh, I'm just gonna click challenge, but you can see my my full Gen One team uh, that that we've been rocking out with. If you want to see uh, all the battles with the last team or or the other battles with this team, uh, there will be links to a battle spot playlist in the cards and in the description. Here we're matched up with somebody with a Hydreigon. Uh, Rotom Heat, Beedrill, uh, um, uh, Volcarona, I meant, uh, Gyarados, uh, Aegislash, and Ferrothorn. So, I'm gonna have to bring, bring the Beedrill. And it's moments like these where I'm, where I'm wishing Gengar had that a little lame. But, Tauros is gonna do things. Tauros is gonna do a lot of things, actually. And... I'm actually thinking I should either bring the Champ or Rhydon for that last slot. But I'm gonna lock in Beedrill. I'm gonna lock in Beedrill and Tauros. But I'm still wondering, who does better here, Machamp or Rhydon? Or at the very least, Machamp doesn't immediately drop to a waterfall from, from that Gyarados. Alright, I'll go Machamp here. We'll rock out with that. Once again, this is going to be a complete just game, just game of matchups. Uh, whoever we lead with is going to be absolutely Intimidate off. Now, I am about 90% sure that this is going to be a Mega Gyarados. And if it's a Mega Gyarados, then that, then that would lead me to believe that he's just going to go for a turn one Dragon Dance, which would give me a great opportunity to U turn here. If I'm going to act on that prediction. And that's a pretty big prediction to make turn one. But I think I have to make it. I'm going to go for Mega Evolution and U-Turn here. I think I have to make this prediction. Because I'm already a bit behind the 8-ball. With this bad matchup and, and Intimidate. He withdraws outright, which is so much better for me. Goes into the Aegis Slash with the Air Balloon. So I get to pop the Balloon straight away. how much this does. This does nothing. Um, in, in shield form, at least. Um, so I think Tauros is the way to go. He can't Shadow Sneak me. And I outspeed by a lot. And I got that Life Orb, um, I got that Life Orb Earthquake form. But, now that I'm, now that I'm thinking through this, could be expecting the earthquake and go and just go straight back out into, into Gyarados. Now, do I act on that admittedly pretty bold prediction and go for a rock slide? That would swing the momentum way into my court. Um, but that's a huge prediction to me. I'm gonna have to go for the safer play and, and go for the earthquake draws like I thought. He goes with the Hydreigon. Uh, so, so a rock slide wouldn't have really helped me in this case anyway. But this Tauros is pretty important right now. So I'm going to... go out into the B drill. That's probably the way to go. In 
interestingly enough, the Machamp, I think, is probably more crucial. Goes for the Thunder Wave. Okay. Uh, I think, I think this guy knows that I just want a U-turn, but I don't... He could just have, he could just be packing the Flamethrower. But, with, with Thunder Wave, this Beedrill is not going to do much in this match anyway. So I think I might just dial, dial in the U-turn and see what that does. I mean, obviously, he has to pack the Flamethrower. Which, who knows. Just goes for Dark Pulse. I, okay, I took that better than I thought, but I flinch. And I, there's always a chance with rolls and whatnot, but I don't think I'll be able to take another one. I mean, I'd have to get lucky on a, on a min roll here. Goes for the second Dark Pulse, and ooh, that just takes me out. A U-turn a there would have been huge. He played the Paraflinch game hard there. Alright, well, I'm just going to go out in a Machamp. And if he wants to Thunder Wave me, that's just gonna that's just gonna play to my advantage because I don't have to get burned. I don't have to take burn damage then, and my champ is already slow as anything, so that's not gonna do much for him. Now I hmm, hmm, I almost want to predict him to predict Brick Break here or. Or the dynamic push, the fighting type move. And go out in the Aegis Lash, which would let me knock off here, actually. I think I might act on that right now. I think this is the game that this guy wants to play. Just bring mods that 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 cover up each other's weaknesses and, and switch back and forth between them. So I so I do get the knockoff off. I, um not not yet good boosted, but now but now we have the flame war activated. Uh, if he has the King Shield, then I'm in a bit of trouble, but, but I am Guts, so that should help a little bit, but I, I just go for the knockoff again, I outspeed, and, and, and the Guts is going to just take him out outright, so that's that's a pretty decent threat that's, that's out right away. Let's be honest. He took my he took my B draw for free, so I got something out right now. So now the Gyarados is here. I'm pretty convinced that this is a Mega Gyarados, but I don't know whether to act on it because I because I could just Brick Break him, and a Guts Brick Break would do a lot, but if he's not Mega, then a Facade would do, then a Facade would be the way to go here, I have no idea what I want to do, but I gotta watch that timer, I have 20 seconds, this is a complete judgment call. Okay, I'm gonna do a facade. I'm gonna bank on him being a regular Gyarados. He doesn't Mega Evolve. Goes for the Waterfall. I take that reasonably well. I get the facade off, and I think that does a lot less than I thought it was going to. And he's just gonna be able to take me out here. I really expected more from, uh, from a champion. Should outspeed fine. Tauros takes out the Gyarados. Then a Dragon paralyzes my Gyarados or er, my, my my Tauros. What? He Mega Falls this late? What? 
Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess he was just defending against my, my, my fighting staff there. Okay, so I should still have speed fine, I think. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure where Gyarados is, where Mega Gyarados' speed's at. But... Yeah, I just, I just, I think I just keep, keep clicking facade. I should have, yeah, I should have speed fine. The facade does fine here. Now, actually, by revealing the facade, that might actually deter the Hydreigon from thunder waving. I'm not sure what he wants to do here. But I think facade is, I think, I think facade is the way to go. Zen Headbutt and Earthquake do nothing here, so it's either Facade or Rock Slide. So Facade goes to 120, and then Life Orb. Rock Slide, um, it's Sheer Forge boosted, which is a third. Uh, uh, yeah, Stab, Stab Trumps, Trump Sheer Forge in this case, just, just click Facade. So I think I think revealing the facade might deter him from thunderwaving me. Oh, and he's rocking helmet Hydreigon. Yeah, so yeah, so it does stop him from thunderwaving me. But wow, that does a lot. So Hydreigon takes this just outright. This is obviously a defensive Hydreigon. A paraflinching defensive Hydreigon. How obnoxious can a set be? Can a Hydreigon be? And I get taken out pretty quick. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we upload twice a day, and again, there will be links to a to a playlist of uh, to plenty more battles with this team and with a previous team uh, in, in the description and in the cards. Um, we upload twice a day, so check back here often, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm out.